Should we seek to be possessed by Jesus? Possessed by the Holy Spirit? Be possessed by God? I ask that because when my wife and I were in religion, and now still, I, when listening to a lot of religious teachings and sermons, I'll hear that concept. And I used to believe that that's basically what I wanted to have happen. We were in the charismatic system. So if you're familiar with that, it's basically a type of possession. If you see the way people act, they believe they are being taken over by the Holy Spirit of God, which is unholy. That's not something God has ever required or demanded or even asked of anyone. That is a demonic concept he likens our relationship with him to a marriage and one spouse would never pray that the other spouse completely takes control of their person of their thoughts of their mind of everything every action and religion does this in different forms ours was a more dramatic form of it but that's not what he does even when he he would have evil people in their own way prophesy um, I'm thinking now of Ananias the high priest who wanted to destroy Jesus and as high priest he prophesied of what that meant that one man must die for the whole nation to save the the nation to save the people he didn't know what he was saying at least not the real meaning he had his own intention as far as that goes he he was thinking about the material, the temporal, and God was thinking of the eternal. That's why he came here. He came here to do that work as the man Christ Jesus to offer us eternal salvation, not temporal benefits or temporal salvation. So that's why I know that that teaching is false because it's all connected to all sorts of temporal blessings. Because if, if you pray through in the Holy Ghost or you do whatever the Lord is telling you to do because he wants to micromanage your life, then you will get all these carnal blessings. And it simply isn't true. What they are teaching is a form of Satanism. And that's why in the more dramatic ones, like I say, in the, in the charismatic system, it looks so scary and so crazy. And that was was always weird to me. It took me a while to get used to it, but I had never fully got used to it. I could never fully do it because it was just too weird. It was just too crazy. It was just too much like being possessed. I, I did ask for it. I did ask for my God to possess me, basically. And a lot of people believe that he did, but he doesn't do that. He doesn't possess you. He loves you. And he comes and he sups with you. One individual to another individual. He wants to know you for who you are. And for the person that you can become by drawing closer to him. Closer to him. Not becoming possessed by him. So that's my thought on that. For now. In Jesus name. Amen.